Hi everyone, so today we're looking at the area of compound shapes by counting squares. Now we have done a little bit of this where we were counting the squares on the different shapes that there were when we were working out the area. But we're going to look at this particular type of shape in more detail. Okay, but first of all I want us to recap on how we found the area of multiple shapes together or multiple rectangles together before we do anything else. So I can first of all, so the to work out the area, remember area is inside the shape, I can just count the squares. So I'm going to count the squares up 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So I know that the area of this shape is 26 centimetres squared. OK, I don't want you to just do that. OK, I want you to look at how could we split the shape up into rectangles to then find the area. OK, now there are two ways I could split this shape. I could split it across here or I could split it down here. I'm actually going to split it this way, but it's entirely up to you how you do it. It will give you the same answer. OK, so now as we did before, I'm going to just put this part as green, okay, and I'm going to do this part in orange. So in all the questions that you're going to be doing, you're only going to need the two different colours, okay? You're only ever going to split them into two rectangles, otherwise you're going to make it more complicated for yourselves, okay? So we're going to do like we did. We need to write down the length and the width. So obviously that's two centimetres across. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven centimetres. Okay. My orange one is four centimetres by three centimetres. Okay. So if I think about the green part, if I was working out the area of this part, it's seven by two. Okay. So seven times two, which is 14 centimetres squared. And if I'm working at the area of this one, it'd be four times three. So four times three is 12 centimetres squared. And to work out the total area, I would add those two together. So 14 adds my 12 equals 26 centimetres squared, which is what it is when I've counted them. OK, I want you to set up the questions today exactly like I have. So I want you to split them and I want you to write on the lengths and the widths I want you to colour them and I want you to put your workings down, okay? So time for you to have a go. <laughs> 